Sorry about that, folks. This is part two. Uh, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, if you notice, this light right here, it still has the original Western Maryland signal light on top there. The signal light is no longer in use. Uh, it's dark territory from Cherry Run all the way, I guess, to uh, Chambersburg. The only time these guys use signals is when they get to City Junction, which is manned by uh, Norfolk Southern. This here is the Y. There's a Y here. Um, some railroad buildings, some fuel. And we got some locomotives here. They still run trains uh, west or east of here. It's Chambersburg or on the Hanover sub towards Baltimore. Going west here is going towards Terry Run down on the old B&O main line. So like I said, you got some uh, pasture equipment over there. Um, we'll take a look at some more historical uh, equipment around this area later on. Uh, it's a lot of snow. There's a lot of neat cabooses down here. Uh, I think maybe next I might show the uh, Western Maryland uh, troop car that's back here in Hagerstown. And this is a pretty important place on the old Western Maryland Railroad. So I wanted to show this to everybody. Give everybody an idea. Now I think it's pretty cool is that old wagon top caboose there. It's rusted to pieces, but it's kind of cool. It's sitting where the, the old turntable used to be. The turntable was not destroyed. Uh, CSX actually pulled the turntable up and donated it to the Roundhouse Museum, but they had no way of putting it back in the ground, so they worked the deal out to where the Ohio Central Railroad now has the world's second largest, or well, the U.S. second largest turntable there. So, talk to you guys later.